All right, folks, um, we're pulling this window trim off. You've got one, two, three, four pieces. Generally, when I'm doing something like this, these are the tools I use. Very rarely do I need them. But these are pretty much what I use. We got to start up here, start unrolling it out. You can pull this corner off first or this section out first, it doesn't matter. But this shit, you got to roll it out from the bottom out. See if this will cooperate enough that I can actually film it and not have to edit too much. The, the, the idea is we're going to get this off and reuse it so we don't want it fucked up. This door open part way. Be careful, it's got a little, like a, almost like a rabbited edge or something on here. And you don't wanna, see I tweaked a little, I can, I can straighten that out later. But if you can get up underneath it and roll it, that's gonna be the trick. And just be gentle with it, you're not trying to force it. See, this has been off before. They did this car once, very poorly, but they did this car once. Who knows, maybe in the 80s, 90s. And see how, as it rolls off, now I'm into that corner. So, just being in that corner, you get it rolled off. There we go. Let's wiggle it. We've got some tweaks here. You can take a pair of uh, little channel lock suppliers and straighten that out. Lineman's work too. And straighten that out and it's near perfect. That's all you're going to get on that. These all roll from the bottom out because they hook on the top. They hook on the top and they snap on the bottom. So you unsnap that bottom. Um, if any of you folks out there have ever tried pulling and reusing steel siding, it's kind of the task we're asked to do on this trim. You can get this in here gently. Just rock it. You're not putting a lot of pressure on it. Take this, put it up in the window trim. Take my panel popper. get it to roll. If you twist it when you pull it off, don't worry about the twist. It's not gonna hurt you in the long run. Like this. And sometimes one method won't work and another one will. You just rock it very gently as you go. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to replace this guy's trim. You know sometimes trim has to be replaced but I know if I have done everything in my power to preserve it I'm not gonna have any problem telling them he's gotta buy a new trim if it breaks. This shit's been on and off this car at least three times. Once they actually pulled it to paint. Once they didn't, so this car I think has been hit twice with paint. Gently, start distorting it, stop what you're doing. Try a different tack. Again, you're just rolling it out. We're not trying to get all aggressive and shit. You're not trying to teach it a lesson. least amount of damage you do now the better you'll be later and this one's this one's getting really crummy to deal with it's not, not liking me lots of mud up in here too there we go now I got both ends started sometimes that's not as good a thing as you think sometimes it'll pinch itself in the middle Sometimes it'll do that for you. 
See, I damaged it just a little. But you know, we get it back on there, we can go along there with um, punch too. That and all is that window trim. Brought to you right here, Smith Welding Restoration. Thanks.